If you're a filmmaker in 2022 and you have a new Apple Silicon computer and you shoot on mirrorless cameras, you absolutely need a Ninja V. So lately I've been on the hunt for a new on-camera monitor. That was kind of my first priority. I wanted something that I could see better when I'm shooting outside and just frame shots better, get a better representation of what my final product and my final shot and image is gonna look like. And so through that process, I ended up buying the Ninja V because not only is it an amazing monitor, but it's also an incredible recorder as well. As you guys know, I shoot on a Canon R6, and the file type is not amazing, especially for older Intel computers and Intel Macs. If you don't have a very fast computer, um, your computer may struggle with the Canon R6 and R5 files, but um, these new Apple Silicon Macs chew through this stuff, and now with this internal recorder, I can record ProRes straight to an SSD. So the reason I say if you have one of these new Macs and you're shooting on mirrorless cameras like the Canon R6 or the R5 or the A7S III, and you need a Ninja V, there's one really, really, really big reason and that reason is ProRes as you guys may know Apple owns ProRes it's their video codec and with these new Apple Silicon Macs especially the M1 Max and M1 Pro chips these computers have built-in video encoders specifically designed to encode ProRes footage so this means that if you can record in ProRes or even if your camera has the ability to record in ProRes raw internally or with a recorder immediately your editing workflow gets that much easier so i have an m1 max macbook pro and i absolutely love this thing and it was handling the r6 footage just fine but now that i'm able to record in prores hq directly into the ninja v on these ssds and then put them right in my computer and get those fast read and write times import times are faster all these things are faster it just speeds up my workflow and my macbook pro does not even break a sweat editing this stuff i mean it's like ridiculously smooth the ninja v is a great pair for the r6 now the r6 cannot you know output 8k raw or it can't uh output you know prores raw but you can still output 4k 60 straight out of the hdmi not only is the ninja v an awesome recorder it's also an amazing monitor it has a thousand nits brightness it has histograms it has focus peaking it has video scopes it has false color you can import LUTs it has frame guides it has grids it has everything you could possibly imagine or need and it's all built into this great software that atomos has designed that makes it easy it's touch screen you just flip around adjust your settings accordingly depending on what camera you're using and what you're inputting and what you want to record um, and it's that easy it's super simple it's super easy to set up you just match your frame rate whatever your camera is sending you just make sure that the Atomos is set to receive that exactly and then you're off to the races it's that simple the other biggest pro to me about the Ninja V that I've discovered so far is just the fact that it's cheap compared to the competition there are monitors out there that cost more and this is a monitor and a recorder. Now, is it the best of both of those things? Probably not, but the value is there. And I think that's why it sits in a sweet spot. And that's why so many people use it. And I think it's a perfect pair for your smaller filmmaking rig. If you're kidding out a mirrorless camera or even like a small cinema camera, like a C200, it'd be great for that as well. So there are so many options for this thing. And that's why I love it. Now, is the Ninja V perfect? No, there are things that I don't love about it. There are things that I wish would be changed through firmware. And I think they probably will be changed through firmware over time because Atomos has already had a history of doing that. And that's the beauty of having their own operating system in it is they can push out updates that make it super easy and they can make improvements as they've already done. And I think they will continue to do in future. Now, I didn't own it at the beginning when it first came out and I know that it's improved a ton since then through firmware updates. So that's really encouraging to see. And I don't think they're gonna stop anytime soon with those updates. So I'm excited to now have this thing in my kit i'm excited to uh, have this more improved prores workflow it has changed the way i edit it has changed the way i import um, and all these different things so i'm really excited i know i'm kind of late to the party on the whole ninja v thing um, but i just never really thought it was a valuable investment until now and i think now it's just proven to be um, a game changer for me just simply from viewing my footage as i'm shooting that like that alone being able to actually see what i'm shooting outside is amazing and then on top of that being a great recorder it's just a bonus so um, i love this thing let me know in the comments if you guys have one if you thought about it um, what your thoughts are how you use it i would love to get some more details because i'm kind of new to it so any information you guys have that you want to share with me tips and tricks let me know i'd love to hear it again thank you thank you thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one